costs in a subsequent financial year. Again, if you've delivered in a year, it's very hard to make an argument that costs in the following year are going to be capable because you've effectively delivered. There are some circumstances where you can do it. So say, for example, uh, if you had an actor who hadn't given you the tax file number until the following year and you couldn't make the payment till the following year, you'd put that in as an incurred expense in the estimate to complete. So, so there are some expenses. Uh, the audit expense is another one quite often, you know, you get the invoice in, but the work might not be done until the following year. So, but generally, most expenses incurred in the year after delivery, uh, you've got to really make an argument with Screen Australia for them to be included, because their, their position is, well, you've delivered the film, you've finished the film, therefore why are you still incurring costs? Are, are they more likely to be distribution rather than production?